Good morning, Oak Forest Bobcats. I wanted to share with you guys an activity that I've been doing with my family and kids at home um, to combat worry, anxiety, and overthinking. Um, so what overthinking is, is when we get stuck on a negative feeling or thought in our minds and we can't move away from it. And there's a lot of that going on right now uh, in the world because of everything that's happening. So I'm gonna show you guys a way to how, of how to overcome overthinking uh, in a couple different ways. Uh, so the first really physical way to overcome worry is to uh, have your body release a hormone called oxytocin. And so you get that from, you could get that from getting a hug from a parent or a sibling. Um, you could get that from petting your dog or holding your cat and like snuggling with your animals. That is a physical way that your body releases oxytocin, which gets rid of stress hormones from your body. So that's, a, that's like a number one really big way that we can get rid of worry and overthinking and that yucky feeling that, that uh, kind of collects in our body for, as a result of it. Um, another way that it's uh, really helpful and to get the worries out is to just write them down. So I have my little whiteboard here. Um, I have my worry on one side. And so a couple things that I've been worried about, and the first one's kind of silly, but a lot of people seem to be able to relate to it is no more toilet paper. People seem to be worried that there's not gonna be enough toilet paper. I'm, I've been worried that I might get sick. And then I, that makes me worry that I won't be able to take care of my family. Um, another worry I have is I won't get to see my students. If you don't, if it helps to write these down because sometimes you might not even realize what your worries are until you get them out on paper. And then sometimes they seem like they might be like kind of silly. Like the first one, like that's not really, that's not really something that's going to happen. It's like everybody has enough toilet paper. Um, and uh, one way to transform this further is to write down all the things you're grateful for. So... Um, I'm gonna make my grateful list. It's gonna be much much longer. I'm grateful for my family and their health my health My job My co-workers My teachers Food, shelter, water, technology, and internet. And my students. Okay, so you see how many more things I have to be grateful for than my worries. And so look, so I'm, I was worried that I w I'm not gonna get to see my students, but now I've got, on the gratitude side, I've got technology and internet, which makes it possible for us to be together without being together, which is a pretty amazing thing um, that we're able to do at this, in this day and age. So if you make a list, you will find that you're probably grateful for more things than you're really worried about. And that starts to transform the worry into, gra into gratitude and appreciation. Uh, so another activity you can do with relation to overthinking and worry is you can just do a breathing exercise. Oh, right. If you guys, um, 
feel like you want to make a list, I would love it if you would send it to me uh, in a message on Living Tree. If your parents want to take a picture of it, they could uh, share the picture in a message on Living Tree or share a pic picture to my email. <laughs> share a picture to my email and it, no one else is going to see it. So it's just, uh, it's just for me to, so you guys can share it with me. Um, if you want to uh, do the activity along with me today or at any point during uh, our, our uh, social isolation. <laughs> um, so another way of dealing with the anxiety and worry is by doing a breathing exercise. So sit with a nice tall back, close your eyes and do three to five really long slow deep breaths. So sit nice and tall. <sighs> if you want to think while you breathe out, just let go. Let go of the overthinking, let go of the worry. You're, like we talked about in the last video, losing your mind, coming to your senses, focusing on what's going on with you right now. Your breathing is what does that. And you can just think, let go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys that feels really good when you do it is to express your gratitude to someone you love. Like my wife is helping me film this video right now and helping me organize my thoughts just so that I can produce the best content I, can, I possibly can for you guys. So I'm gonna make her, I'm really grateful for Mrs. Harding for helping me <laughs> do my videos and supporting me and the kids and uh, doing all our grocery shopping and making sure we're eating healthy food and all of that. So express the gratitude to the people that you care about and that you love. It makes a huge difference. Um, another, so the last step for this could be you could uh, draw a picture of what you think your overthinking demon or monster might look like. This is kind of what I feel like mine looks like today. He's got some teeth, he's got an eyeball. That's my overthinking demon. Looks like Mike Wazowski. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, my overthinking demon might have been modeled on Mike Wazowski. Uh, so give those activities a try. Let me know what you think. Send me an email, send me a living tree post, snap a picture of your exercise, and let me know what you think. Um, you can leave a comment on the video, um, or if you want it to be private, then send me a message. Uh, I miss you guys. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.